welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a quick video on how to organize your Arcade 1UP cabinet. Right now you can see mine is a huge mess. So I'm going to start uh, putting it together and doing some wire management and we'll see what the best way is to take care of this. As you can see I've already started to mount the Raspberry Pi case right onto the back of the screen. So we'll start uh, tidying up and we'll see how far we get. I've started uh, mounting the Raspberry Pi case right on the wall here. And if you look closely, I added some electrical tape so it doesn't short out when it's running. Uh, it's always, it's, it is sitting flush with the screw so a step may not be needed. But, uh, you know, it's better safe than sorry to have it covered so that if you wiggle it a certain way it won't short out the pie. Here's the inside of my control deck right now. It looks like a huge mess because I didn't uh, really care. You don't see any of this piece, these pieces because it's all covered by the dust cover. But uh, for anyone interested, I did add a two port USB hub here and I've actually routed it outside of the panel here. So when that's all done, you get these quick disconnect panels. So the red is for the power to the Pi. The blue is actually for the start and select buttons. Or no, the coin 1 and coin 2 buttons I've added on. And this USB here is so that I can plug it into the Pi with an extension cord. And this is the single left channel speaker output that I've uh, you know, wired straight to the single speaker here. So again, we, we're not going to worry too much about the uh, inside. If you look closely, I did screw the USB encoder right into the control deck. Same with the second one. And I've actually used a double-sided tape for the USB 2.0 hub there. Okay, so we'll close this up. Uh, before we do, make sure you tighten up uh, your ball top, so take a flathead screwdriver, put it right there, if you have this one. This is the Sanwa, or Sanwa clone. This is the, an actual Sanwa that I put in. But you take a flathead, put it there, and then twist from the other end to tighten it. If you have the, the HAP versions, where it's the, not the five pin connector, it'll be a, a bunch of uh, dual four pins. You'll have to take a pair of needle nose pliers, clamp down here, and then twist the ball top from the bottom. Okay, so we'll take a look and uh, tighten everything down. I've started looping some cables around here. As you can see, the control deck will just sit right on top. And these cables are actually just looped around. No zip ties, I'm just using Velcro here. Here's, here's some zip ties here though. And uh, while I was doing it, this button actually came right off. So I've uh, re-soldered it here. And just to prevent that from happening again, I've added some tape here and some electrical tape here. Just so that it uh, doesn't uh, get pinched off when these wires move around. And this tape will also act as a, like an anchor kind of. I'll probably add one more like here, just across here to here. Just so that if this were to ever fall off by accident, it won't yank these uh, cords right off the buttons. Okay? Okay. Now you can see everything is fully routed together. Now we're going to deal with the power. Okay. The power routing is all done now. You see there's a power brick here. All I've done was use double-sided uh, sticky tape and it's just dangling down and into the wall like that. Now another thing you may want to take note of is I didn't put it flush against the end here. The reason why is because uh, if you plan on putting the back cover of the Arcade 1UP back on, you'll need that space there. So just leave about two inches here for your power brick. And if you look closely here, here's the power brick for the LCD board. That's right against the wall as well. 
And that's also held on with double-sided sticky tape. So is this uh, LCD driver board here. So this one will allow you to turn the brightness and everything on higher and lower. And if you look closely, all I did was uh, route the cables through here. Just, you know, loop them up and shove them in there. And if you zoom right out, it's all done. Now, there is a lot of space down here. And I actually had a computer in here, so I'm going to put it back in. That's why I cleared up all the space down here, is so that uh, we can uh, put more stuff under it. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content.